it's Monday and um, today Cooper wants to Cooper wants to introduce what we're doing today, don't you, Cooper? <laughs> yes, there he is. So today we have got harbour boats. It's a lovely, relaxing start to the week. So I'm gonna get rid of my dog. Let's get the point. now by putting in first of all a line where the harbour meets the water and then secondly a line where the um, sea meets the sky so I'm just going to draw this freehand if you want just use your ruler if you feel more comfortable but you can see how loosely I'm holding my pencil and I'm just drawing that line and gradually that's going to be the top of the harbour wall there and then here I'm going to come down probably about a third of the way down for my sky and I'm going to put that line in there now, I'm going to come in from there on this line and I'm just going to go down. I'm only going to go down a few millimetres, not even a centimetre. And I'm going to put in a line down. We're going to put in a harbour wall here. Well, you know, just like a key that you get on seaside towns. And then not much of a diagonal, just there like that. And then I'm going to take that one down there. I'm going to take that one across there that's like we've got this little harbour wall and just to put a couple of cottages in all you're doing really is one two and then two bigger lines one two like that that one I'm going to just join with a straight line across just above the horizon line there and this one I'm going to give it a little roof like that so we're just giving the impression of a little harbour town I'm taking that down there like that and then another small rectangle there and a little roof coming off there so we've got that coming down now there that's the bottom here of that little wall and here I just want you to take it across and then build a little staircase there nice and gently going up and that's our little the start of our little harbour buildings so think about where that line is there and come down slightly and I want you to just put in a straight line here and this is going to be where our boat comes in it's a very simple boat shape we're going to start with it's there and then slightly higher at that end and then just take a nice smooth line down and then we're going to just pop in this little shape here and that's going to make I don't know what it's called, but the little bit of the boat that you sit in when it's raining, which it doesn't do very often in Scotland here. There we go. So that's our first few shapes. So if you pop in the two lines, the start of the little buildings and the basic outline of the boat. So now you've got those in, we're just going to put a few details into the boat. We'll start, I'm going to just put a little, little stripe in there. Nice jolly stripe. And a couple of details, like two shapes here, which will look as if they're little windows and a small line and a door there. And that's, that's my, um, that's all I'm going to do on the boat for now. We'll come back to that at the next stage. Now with the little houses, you can pop in a couple of windows, a little window there, and a door. Use your imagination here. You can pop in really whatever you want. I'm going to put in a couple of little doors there like that and here on the steps if you bring a little line out like that and then each line simply like this that's all I'm doing every corner I'm just joining them with little and that's going to make my steps So if you just pause there, get your little shapes in here and then we'll finish it off at the next bit. Now, very few, just a minute or two really, popping in a few last bits here. We'll put some little masks coming up from the boat. I've got another one here that I'm going to bring up. And then again, about the same, just maybe even higher, slightly higher there at the front. And each of those, I'm just going to put in some ropes coming down from all of them. 
And there, I'm going to bring that out just a little bit at the top. And to finish it off here on the key side, we're going to put a few shapes in here like this. One, two, and then these little rings here like that. And that is us finished. So stick with us now. We're going to put some colour onto this and paint it. in anything you wanted whatever you can get hold of really um if you were to do it with paint what i'm going to do with the pencils just use your paint washes to do that but i'm going to do it using these um really simple watercolor pencils here and i'm going to make it as if it's an evening sky so i'm going to go in with some orange just at the top and some bits of yellow as well so that's going to be my sky here for my sea i'm going to go up to there really put the pigment you can see i'm putting this pigment down here from these pencils like that and i'll put i just bring it in i might actually pop in a little bit of yellow here as well just to you know somehow times when the when the evening sky reflects a little i think that might look quite Nice, and I might even add a bit of darker blue in there as well, just under the bow as if it's got shadow there. And then the last bit of me putting the paint down is gonna be this bit here. I'm gonna come in, and this is gonna be my kind of concrete wharf there. So at the moment, it doesn't look massively neat, does it? It just looks like lots of scribbles, but here's the magic. So now I'm just gonna turn this all into paint here and I want that to go right down here to my C. And you can see the more I go back in those last little marks I don't it's fine to go over that because that will go on in black at the end and that's created me a really nice warm evening sky there and I'm careful not to take the orange too close into the blue there. Right now I'm going to turn the C. You can see as I come into here, I've got my little bit of sunset there. Now I want to be a bit more careful, so I'm going to go around my boat here. Because I'm going to come back in with the pencils when this is dry, and I'm going to paint in the boat. And I'm going to do exactly the same around my harbour and down there. Sorry about the noise in the background. Our dog who loves to be part of the daily draw, has just picked up his bouncy ball. He obviously thinks we must be finished because Elizabeth's being so quiet. Right, there we go. There's my nice dark shadow under the boat. And I'm just going to put, can you see how much water I put on that? I'm just going to absolutely load the water on to get that effect there. And we'll take that down to the bottom, to the key, and then the last bit here, it's going to be that bit. If you heard a big sigh there, it wasn't Elizabeth. That was Cooper deciding, oh, no one's going to play with me. So that's the key turn. Now I'm going to leave this for five minutes. It won't take long at all. I'm going to leave it to dry so I can come back in and finish with my details on the so I've Just let that dry for a minute or two whilst we played with Cooper and his ball. And we're going to come in here. I'm just going to use my black watercolour pencil here along there. And just put in some little shapes here as if that's little bricks. And on these lines, I am going to go put them all in. I'll just put them in like that. And what I'll do is I'll just take my brush and just turn that slightly. Can you see? So it gives a sort of suggestion of grey. And I'm also going to take that up and make that house look as if that one's got a grey wall as well. That matches in. Thank you. Cooper still wants to play with his ball. That's the noise you can hear. Elizabeth tried to stop laughing. Okay, and we'll just put in a little roof there. I'm going to do the other two houses in different colours. I'm going to do this one as a green house. And this one with my yellow, but you can obviously just do them whatever colour you want. And I'll just take my little brush there. Turn that one. 
and then clean it and turn that one. And then what I'll do is I'll come back to that when they're dry. I'll just do the just finish off the um, boat first. And all I'm going to do for the boat is here. I'm going to just colour a, put a little bit of red in there, and I'm going to colour this in two green stripes here. One. if I just turn that again so each time I'm just putting a bit of the paint pigment on the paper and then I'm just using my brush quite carefully just to paint those last bits in what I'll do now come back with my red I'll give these houses little red doors and then I'm going to finish it off with my black here so I'll just go around these houses with my black just to make them stand out a bit more and then the same with the boat. So we've got that coming down, popping the door in the window. And each of these little masts, I'm gonna do with a little stroke of black and that'll just make them stand out a little. And then just to finish off here, I'm gonna go around these shapes like that. And that is our little harbour scene finished and we hope that you enjoyed it and please do send it. We just mentioned this in the junior one to say how much we love getting all the pictures. And for those of you who are regular senders of your photos and we want to give a special shout out here to Nana and Papa Gibson who always send their amazing pictures and we love them so much. So for everybody else who's watching out there, if their Nanas and Papas are doing them, get them to send them their pictures too because we love getting them. So really hope that you enjoyed that and uh, we would love to see your pictures. Make sure you send them to us and tomorrow we will be back and we've got a really rather exquisite painting for you. We think you're going to really enjoy it. It's peacocks. So we will see you then.